Hey guys, it's Kelly and Cole Watkins with The Bridge Group, and today we're bringing you the Houston Monthly Market Update. So November was actually the fifth positive consecutive month of home sales in 2019, meaning the past five months have been greater than in 2018. And we're actually 4.1% ahead of where we were in 2018's record-breaking year. So for 2019 to be 4.1% ahead is amazing for our buyers and sellers. November was, we sold about 6,400 homes in the Houston market, which is 3.6% ahead of where we were this time last year. The top two categories of properties that sold in Houston, or I guess price ranges, uh, were the $250,000 to $500,000 price range uh, product. That rose 12.5%. The second highest, surprisingly, was the $500,000 to $750,000, and that rose 5.2%. Uh, so uh, the, the 80,000 uh, jobs that have moved to the Houston market, you can tell those are definitely having an uh, impact on our real estate market. Uh, another thing is that the average price point, it did go up slightly, but 1.1% at uh, around $297,000. And then lastly, the inventory was, it remained unchanged, which is pretty crazy because this time of year, November, December, January, you start to see it kind of uh, drop off uh, with lower inventory. We're at 3.8 month inventory in Houston right now, which is wonderful. And we'll talk about that later with uh, what does this mean to sellers? What does it mean to buyers? So typically the end of the year brings a little bit slower sales, but because of the interest rates, as well as the jobs yeah. that have come to Houston this past year, they've remained consistent they've remained strong we've actually grown from last year and interest rates still remain at that low rate of 3.75 compared to this time last year when they were almost a point higher than that yeah they, they were they were at 4.75 this time last year and uh so yeah that's that's pretty crazy if you're in the market right now looking to purchase now is the time absolutely okay so we always like to do this what does this mean for our sellers what does this mean for our buyers if you're looking to sell in 2020 if you're looking to buy in 2020 uh if you're looking to sell or buy right now in 2019 and close for the, end of the before the end of the year uh unless you're doing cash it's going to be highly unlikely right. uh but uh, we do have some clients that are working with cash and they probably will close before the end of the year. However, if you're a seller and you're saying, wow, that you know those numbers are great, the market seems good, it is. Uh, but right now, the good thing is values are going up steadily and they're not going, they're not spiking, but they're going up at a healthy rate, which is wonderful for home values. Uh, so what does that mean? It means that your property is worth more today than it was yesterday and it will continue to do that in a healthy rate. Uh, the other thing is, and this uh, it kind of affects both buyers and sellers, but the, the, we hear us talk about it all the time, the interest rates are uh, at a historic low right now. And going into an election year, 2020 is gonna be an election year, mm -hmm. Things don't typically tend to change that much with interest rates. They tend to flatten out uh, and not really go up or down. So uh, that's great news for the current interest rates. If you are looking to purchase, uh, well, I could probably echo the same thing as far as the uh, not only the interest rates, but the home values. Now, home values going up is a wonderful thing for if you're selling a property. If you're buying a property, uh, it's good because if you're buying in the Houston market, it's most likely going to appreciate. However, uh, if you wait too long, uh, then your dollar or your, your, your money doesn't go as far uh, for you on that purchase. Now with the interest rate being as low as they are, you are gonna get a little bit more for your property uh, as opposed to this time last year at 4.7%. Right. Exactly. The other thing though, is that we're at this time of year to where if you're seriously looking for a home to buy in the market uh, and you've, you have your pre-approval, you're already ready to go, I would suggest making a move on something. If you're looking at new inventory, builders have so many incentives right now uh, to close out. They don't wanna carry those homes into 2020. Right. So we are, we're getting a lot of our clients right now locked up with some really good incentives. Uh, so if that's you, let us know. And uh, lastly for buyers, inventory is relatively unchanged. 
3.8% of inventory uh, is kind of near summer numbers, not summer numbers, but near summer. So with that being said, you have a lot more to choose from even in the winter months or our Texas winter months. <laughs> so, it's winter today. <laughs> yeah, it is definitely winter today. It dropped like 20 but degrees. Not this morning. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys are looking to buy or sell in 2020, please reach out to us. Love to come up with a game plan for you and your family and strategize on how best to get you top dollar and to sell that home quickly or to help you find that dream home. So reach out to us today.